but yeah, so one of the things that the Confederation teaches is that one of the issues of our governance systems is that we have too many people at the top and too many people, uh, too few people at the top and too many people at the bottom, uh, that you need to be able to uh, know who you're interacting with. Uh, so for that, there's the uh, subsidiarity process. So you have a family, uh, you're familiar with that. So, so you've got two adults and two to six children, um, and then they can elect a family leader. Uh, and then you have a community of let's say 10 families, and then uh, they, they can select. Uh, and then so at, at these different layers, you got food, fiber, firewood at the family level, uh, which is being produced. And then at the community level, you're doing solar, wind, and biomass. And uh, so you see so you got those 10 families. And so then they, they go to the village level. They, they have a community leader that becomes the village leader. And so amongst the village leaders. So it's not that you're not selecting, you're not electing, say, the planetary leader directly. But it's, the say, the community leaders that are selecting amongst themselves a village leader. And then you have <coughs> neighborhood, city, county, province country and you, you can see what each layer does and it's it's a subsidiarity system so um the higher levels are there to provide two services to the lower levels and recommendations whereas the lower levels have autonomy within their own jurisdiction like what you you do within your own families and your own business you know what you do in your own community and things like that but say for instance if you're having a dispute with a neighboring community then you could go to say the village leader to uh, help to resolve this dispute, as an example. And then add us as a sum total. Now, say, for instance, we have a representative that's supposed to represent like 6 billion people, but the planetary leader in this system only needs to know 100 to 200 people. Uh, and that would let them know all of the kind of uh, leaders that got them elected, at least. So they could uh, represent them properly. And so uh, most probable future li lifestyles. Uh, so there's the urban salvage economy, the rustic Amish. Uh, so, so the urban salvage is like life expectancy of 52, uh, rustic Amish 54, indigenous hunter-gatherers 70, food forest communities 84. Uh, and this is an example of uh, how a village settlement, settlement can be with say like a community over here. And this is a rural block, it's just a standard rural block. Um, family offices are a good source of funding. All right, and now discussion. And then I'll, I'll see if we had some uh, YouTube queries. Did anyone have any questions or about the presentation? Oh, ABC, go ahead. <clears throat> Am I live? Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, we can hear you. Perfect. I, I missed um, probably most of it, but I heard from our fellow Jester regarding some power dynamics and how they work out. And hello to everyone, Simon, um, Steve, and, and Andre, and as well as you, fellow Jester. Um, 